This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, formerly Wheel Kinetics. Uh, we just changed our look, our website, everything. We were Wheel Kinetics for 15 years, now we're Crosscut. On our site, you'll see the uh, blogs we have about where and why and how and the whole bit, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, it's a good thing. Um, anyway, we uh, are selling this truck as a 2003 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Short Bed. It's a 6 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather, and has the FX4 offered suspension package. This truck has 203,121 miles. Um, actually, a little bit more now. I've driven a little bit. Um, it was an Elevations Credit Union repo in Boulder, Colorado. We bought it from them and brought it here. It's an excellent running truck. We'll show you the Carfax. It's got a fantastic Carfax. Needed a few things uh, due to the fact that it's kind of old and got 200,000 miles on it. Um, we took it to our shop that does all of our stuff for us, Monsoon. I'll show you the invoice from them in a second. Um, we did uh, front shocks, brand new shocks in the front, uh, stabilizer strut in the front, steering strut, boom, brand new. Okay. Um, we noticed we had done a video before on this thing and in the video the ignition was hard to turn turns out somebody probably the repo man stole it by using a screwdriver on the ignition so we had to get another column for it so we got another column for it and monsoon installed that so now we had to do the video over again i just washed it right there that's why i'm doing the video here instead of crosscut um because it's getting late in the afternoon i gotta go um anyway so it's got a used column installed uh, now the ignition's fine. Uh, we did rear brake pads and rotors. Uh, we changed out the brake fluid, did a brake fluid flush. Uh, we repaired the master switch wiring. A lot of uh, 6.0s, by the way, when you have window problems, it's not the switches, it's the wiring that goes from the, uh, the engine bay through the door on the driver's side. They'll get frayed, so we repaired that, so you don't have to worry about that again. Um, a lot of people end up buying all these switches and it's never that. Um, Let's see, what else? We removed the adapter. There was some sort of an adapter underneath it. Um, because it's so clean and relatively rust-free, almost perfectly rust-free, I don't think it was a snowplow. Everyone thinks it was a snowplow adapter. I don't, just based on the condition of the truck. Um, I'll show you underneath the truck. There'll be photos underneath the truck the whole bit. Uh, we also did wiper, wiper blades and headlight uh, bulbs, and we had a detail. All right, my job in this video is not to tell you how great it is. Um, these are the tires that came on it. Instead of uh, missing their payment, they should have, and buying tires, they probably should have made their payment. Um, these are almost brand new Firestones. I mean, they're really high rubber. For some reason, the person who got repoed decided that it would be a good idea to put tires on it instead of making the payment. So, anyway, that's what they did. So, you see what I'm talking about here? Now, I, that is not a snow vehicle. I know what snow looks like. That ain't it. Um, anyway, uh, if there's something wrong with the truck, I am definitely going to point it out. Um, for instance, like right here, this molding, it needs some glue on it. Um, if you want to keep the molding on, I would take the molding off personally, but we left it on because somebody may want it, but all you have to do is just take the, the glue off it and you're fine. Um, that's what I would do. Anyway, uh, let's see. Cosmetically, there's a little ding right here, here, tailgates, the usual tow vehicle tailgate uh, probably wasn't on the truck it was probably laying on the garage floor at the guy's house there's brackets for fifth wheel let's see we got a little alley here both sides of the bumper and both sides of the bed have brackets for uh camper shells uh overhead campers the tie downs that's kind of nice this is the only thing i saw on it this is really superficial right here but that's the only thing i could find on this truck usually if you're looking for rust you'll find it inside the door jams especially on the driver door on the bottom um and it doesn't have it so i don't really think this thing did a whole lot of work as a right, let me see if i can 203,185 miles Okay, there's that. Open the hood. All right, first we're looking for stamps that say Ford on the fenders. There's one on the core support. There's one, should be another one on the core support. 
right there should be another one right there should be one on the hood right there that tells you that all these parts are original up front which is important obviously there's your cat sticker take off the uh, oil cap seal and blow by we have that's what happens when you change your fluids a lot uh, even on a 03 or 0460 if you take care of them you don't have blow by and you don't have EGR problems and I locked that door which I do every freaking video oh my lord thank god I leave the door open now <laughs> anyway all right let's see let's go around here back to the side there all right here's your window up and down door locks okay all right let's do the seat first and i'll show you the paperwork seat forward back up down tilt forward down tilt up down a little bit of wear in the seats uh, especially in arizona i would just get uh the soft uh, sheepskin seat covers because it's so freaking hot on your butt and leather but that is your call that's your truck right all right here's the uh monsoon automotive there's the vin for the 03 we spent 1357 dollars on it bulbs blades rear pads and rotors front shocks stabilizer shock um, brake fluid flush snow plow whatever off i don't think it was snow plow uh, repaired wiring to door on master switch column batteries or battery I'm not sure what the deal was there because they look like the original battery so I think that they screwed that up and they owe me money um, all right here's the Carfax uh, history events affecting this vehicle's value Carfax blends the Kelly and the history and they come up with a value of 16,610 lately that would be a nice buy um, I don't price them my brother does there's the VIN no accidents reported 26 service records that's good okay nothing bad there no major title problems but was born in Poway which is basically San Diego Southern California we moved to Colorado new owner here Denver lots of servicing going on still in Colorado still being serviced EGR valve at 122 still being taken care of boom 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 and then boom there we are all right here is the title uh, that's been signed over to us there's the event elevations credit union i canceled out the uh victims <laughs> uh name that's embarrassing elevation credit union sold to wheel kinetics and here's the statement of repossession for this vehicle okay it was repoed 28 of 21 they uh, sold it 53 of 21 took a couple weeks to get it here from colorado blah 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 there's your uh manuals it's got two usb cords one here and one there it's got a pumpkin radio which i'm told is a big deal i don't know what that means i'm not we don't sell radios so i'm not really concerned with the radio how the radio works but uh i'm also told that i need to look behind the seat and show you what's back here because that might be something popular all right i'm sorry about that with the camera so it's got a big subwoofer here we aren't sure what this is but we left it there i think it's uh some sort of vacuum hose to a what probably was an air horn underneath but we're gonna leave it because it might be worth some money and you might want it okay back seat looks great window up and down guess i'll put this seat up on this side here real quick I think you probably had a lot more in this truck audio wise but uh took most of it with him except for the deck and that sub all right window mirror in and out and up and down other side out in up and down see forward back up down 
tilt up down rear up rear down tilt wheel um let's see what else oh i wanted to show you guys this stuff down here Yeah, there's nothing down there on snow trucks there's always stuff down here and there's nothing so i don't think that was a snow plow whatever it was all right time for some air it's hot and i just drove this thing from monsoon and i know the air works great so that's first get a seat belt on here Moon roof, back, forward. Well, all right, let's see. Lights. Boom. Obviously, this is from an 0507, so all of you detectives out there, that's what this is. The steering wheel is from an 0507, not an 0304. Um, let's see. I think, let me think. Go like this. I'm terrible with radios, by the way. So there's that. There's all kinds of stuff going on here, but we don't sell radios. I'm just telling you that it works on that, whatever that is. Um, tow on and off. Neutral. Go to, uh, for low. And we're going to drive. That's definitely for low. In reverse and for low. Boom. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go from for high, for low. See what's low range? Now it's for high. That's a little quicker. And reverse and for high. Perfect. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go back to two wheel drive. Four by four goes away and go for a ride. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you uh, pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name, your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, mail it to you. Uh, we even scan in the uh, envelope we mail it in. You will have the truck shipped to you. Title will already be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up with your truck. Once the shipper shows up with your truck, you'll take the title to your MVD with the truck and you'll get uh, plates. It's very simple. This truck runs awesome, by the way. Really strong running truck. You can totally tell it was serviced well. Um, it's not necessarily the prettiest truck, uh, but it's got a nice set of tires. Interior's in pretty good shape. Um, no blow-by. All the right things for a... Uh, relatively inexpensive uh, diesel truck. They're going through the roof right now, but we try to keep the price down. Um, deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until the deposit's in, it's for sale. So please get your deposit in. We are not screwing around there. We don't hold trucks for people, okay, or cars, nothing. Uh, done that before and we always regret it. Oh, I couldn't get financed. I couldn't, uh, whatever. Uh, sorry about that and then of course everyone thinks there's something wrong with the truck because they were following it and now the guy didn't buy it so then there's something wrong with it right so it's a deposit every time um last part of every video i say the same thing and i will this time we don't have sales we don't have bottled water with our name on it we don't have uh uh, uh fancy location uh what we have are the is the truth the car facts the receipts um how we got it, where we got it, uh, everything that they won't tell you, we will tell you, okay? They also know at the auto mall, when they sell you a used truck, that uh, if, uh, if it breaks, uh, they made so much money that they'll fix it. They include five to $700 every time they sell the used vehicle at a new car's used car lot for future repairs. And usually they don't have to use it, but some, you know, if they do, they just, whatever. They already made a ton of money. Well, we don't charge you for future repairs because we're not repairing your truck. Uh, the exchange for all this information is you become the owner on day one. If you can't become the owner on day one and accept the fact that something will break on this truck, 
and if it's day one or it's day 2000, it is what it is. Um, you're not going to get this video, you're not going to get the car facts, you're not going to get the origin and the documentation for all that stuff from anybody because they're too afraid and they need to pay, uh, get paid more for their vehicles uh, because they have to actually get more money because they have huge bills, right? Um, anyway, um, we don't have the huge bills, so we don't need to make every dime possible and we don't want to sit on vehicles forever. It's not good for them, especially diesel trucks. It's not good for diesel trucks to sit around not moving for months. Um, so anyway, that's the bottom line, all right? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Got, uh, got about two minutes left in this video, so I'm just gonna kind of drive around a little bit and let you guys experience the driving part of it. Really nice pull when you're driving. This thing runs great. Excellent transmission, perfect shifting, no slippage whatsoever, no blow by. The powertrain of this truck is immaculate. Love it. Um, I wouldn't uh, be very concerned about owning this vehicle at all. If you're a cosmetic person, I mean, it's not terrible. You could actually make it look like something, you know, better. Like a, you could probably turn it from a four or five, which it is now, into a seven or an eight. But to make it a 10, you have to spend a fortune. So I would say if you need to do that, stay away from it. Um, if you just want mechanical and you want, you know, an affordable uh, diesel truck that, uh, that um, you can uh, uh, trust, then this would probably be it. Okay, uh, but, 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 but what else? I think that's about it. Well, this thing runs great. Let's shift. Boom, 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 boom. And this is a 35, and I'm doing 65. That's probably a ticket. So I'm going to stop doing that. It's Ruthroff. I'm on La Choya in Ruthroff. Ruthroff for anyone who's from Arizona or from Tucson that knows where I am. I got it out. I'm allowed 17 minutes and 38 seconds on this thing, and I'm almost there. So, anyhow, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time. Um, check out the blogs on Crosscut. Thank you.